Hello, this is Brendan Anderson here with KDOL, and I'm joined by Kate Scott from KNBR. Sports radio anchor for the Murphy Mac Show. She is also known to Raz Uncle Gary on the Gary and Larry Show. We, we hear you on KNBR every morning. Kate Scott on KNBR 680, the sports leader. But can you tell us a little bit about how you got into this point and, and where your career started? Yeah, actually, it was largely thanks to a high school teacher of mine. Uh, junior year in high school, I was thinking that I was going to be a teacher. My mom's a teacher. Mm. A lot of my friends are teachers. And then a, a counselor stopped me, high school teacher stopped me because it was time to apply for college and stuff. And he said, you know, you play a bunch of sports. You're always doing like the morning announcements and on the, on the microphone at rallies. Have you ever thought about going into sports broadcasting? But I never really thought about that because no one in my family or none of my friends were in this industry. So I hadn't even thought about that as a possibility. So I was really lucky to have that interaction with somebody, somebody kind of pointing me in the right direction. So then I went to Cal for college and I majored in communications, edited a bunch of radio and TV and writing stuff. And, and now here we are. Great. I'm a Cal Bear as well. So Bears. welcome, Go Bears. This season, she is breaking even more barriers. She will be doing radio play-by-play for the 49ers' first two preseason games. She is just the third woman ever to do an NFL play-by-play broadcast. And if that's not enough, she is also an anchor, reporter, play-by-play announcer, and host for the Pac-12 Networks. What was your first big break then into this industry? Oh, gosh, first big break. Well, I think... That's kind of a, 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 a misnomer sometimes. I think mm. some people really get breaks. There's definitely those people that, you know, they go to college and their first job right out of college, they're on ESPN because they know somebody or they just were the right place at the right time. But I don't think I've really had a break. I've just had to slowly work my way up. So I wrote for my high school newspaper. I started as a writer. Then when I got to Cal, I started writing for a couple of magazines there. And then I started to intern at our kind of TV show, the Cal Highlight Show, did that for three years years then slowly started to do radio it did an internship in radio and then they kind of promoted me to well you can edit our audio for the radio show and then somebody needed a traffic reporter so then I was a traffic reporter and then slowly but surely I told people I wanted to do sports they started to let me do some sports updates so it was really just kind of one thing after another continually telling people what I wanted to do in the end mm. and then just working really hard working nights and weekends and my parents hated me for a couple of years I worked so many Christmases in a row and stuff but that's you know now I'm here so it's all good yeah exactly I mean the business is sports is always happening on the weekends and evenings so you never get to see your family at all exactly. um, so being a woman in this industry um, traditionally it's been male dominated but you've been able to carve out a nice niche and uh, become a strong woman in the industry. How, what are some of the challenges that you've had to overcome? Well, I think, see, I obviously get asked this all the time because there's not that many women in sports, but the more women I talk to in every industry, you know, I have friends who are interior designers. I have friends who are trying to be doctors. I have friends who are trying to be lawyers. And it kind of seems like we're kind of minorities in every industry, you know? So it, it really is, you just have to really want to do what you're doing because passion is where it starts. You got to love what you're doing because there's going to be those hard days, whether you're a guy or a girl. Um, and then it really helps to have good friends who support you because there's going to be those bad days and you need somebody to complain about it with and talk to. Um, but I think the thing with sports and that I'm a woman and some people are, are confused as to why I'm doing it. I've always loved sports, so it's always seemed really natural to me. And that's what I talk about with my friends in those other industries, too. Whatever they're doing has always been a passion of theirs. And sports, since I was a little girl, when I was five, I was eating my bowl of cereal in front of Sports Center. You know, <laughs> all my friends were watching cartoons and I was watching sports. Um, so it's always seemed normal to me. So I, I, I don't really look at it as I want to be the woman doing this. It just happens that this is what I love and maybe it's not for all women but this is what I want to do and I love it and I think because of that I've been accepted because the, the guys that I work with can see that this is just a passion of mine so it fits. Yeah. We like to say too when you can combine your passion with your purpose and align that to your profession you're on the way to a great career. LeBron re after the Cavs, three years, 100 mil. NBA schedules are out. Warriors open against the Spurs October 25th at the Oracle. Dumbs are at the Cavs on Christmas Day. I'm Kate Scott on KMBR 680, the sports leader. So in terms of um, all the different careers in sports, a lot of times we were talking earlier how we see the professional athletes, but we don't necessarily see all the careers. Now that you're really in it, 
Has it been a surprise to you how many people are really behind the scenes? There is so many people behind the scenes and that's one of the things that I try to tell kids when I go to talk at schools or be on radio shows. You think I can be a football player or not or maybe I can be a coach or not or I can be you know the person on the radio or on the TV but it takes so much to make that team work. So there's producers and there's directors and there's the people who do the graphics on your television screen. You know, I may be the one on your TV screen or on your radio, but I'm not the one editing the audio and putting together the graphics and doing the social media and running the soundboard. There are so many jobs and the same things go for, you know, we're out here at Keysar today. Sports teams, they wouldn't be able to do what they do without their trainers and their, their ball boys and their managers and all the people in the front office, the PR people who send out all the press releases who help me do my job so always always I think the big thing is be open to other opportunities in the industry that you want to go into because there's so much more than just what you see on your TV or what what you read about it takes it takes a village that's what we all hear right whether it's raising kids or, or doing your job so that's one of the really cool things especially for people who want to be involved in sports I used to play sports a lot of people who work in this industry are former athletes there's so many opportunities that aren't just being a coach of a team. For the young ladies out there that are looking to either play sports, and now we do have some professional sports for women, mm -hmm. um, or just get in the industry, what kind of advice would you give to them? Uh, I think one of the things we already touched on, passion and purpose. Pick something you love and follow follow through on that. If, if you don't love all sports, if you just love basketball, do basketball, figure out a way to work in basketball, doing something I just mentioned, be it a basketball reporter, behind the scenes, with the team, with an organization that covers the team. So, so I think that's the first thing, follow your passion. Um, and then, you know, just be ready to work really hard. I think that's one of the things that a lot of people see these days and they say, I, I wanna do that. Well, the thing is, so does a lot of other people you know you may be one of two at your high school or whatever that wants to do it but think of how many high schools there are in your district and then expand that through the u.s so it's going to be hard but if you have that hard work and dedication you'd be really surprised how quickly you'll get past other people and other people will kind of fall to the wayside and say yes to things i said yes yeah. to so many things that i was terrified <laughs> about doing and uh you know, next thing I know, it led to another one of those little breaks that we were talking about, right. and and now get to cover the 49ers and the Warriors and the Giants and the A's and the Raiders. So life is good. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've obviously worked very hard to get where you are. Can you tell us um, our audience where they can find you and all the different platforms that you're on? Sure. If you guys are ever bored, I'm on KNBR 680, a radio station on your AM dial, or you can l listen to us on the KNBR app. And then I'm also doing uh, TV for the Pac-12 Network. So Cal and Stanford are in the Pac-12. Um, so Pac-12 Network is where I do play-by-play -play and hosting and reporting. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter, at Kate, and then the letter T, and Scott. Great. Well, we really appreciate you coming on and joining us today. Thanks a lot. Congratulations for such a great career. Thank you so much. And uh, thanks for having me. And keep up the great work. I love what you guys do. Keep it up. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Kate Scott on KMBR 680, the sports leader.